Hello everyone, and welcome back to Smart Farm Tech. Today we're going to explore the vast sugarcane fields of Australia. A country not only famous for its breathtaking landscapes, but also for its thriving agriculture. You'll be amazed by the enormous sugarcane harvest here, with over 30 million tons harvested each year. How impressive is that? Get ready to learn all about growing sugarcane. We'll follow the whole process, from planting tiny sugarcane seeds to harvesting giant crops and turning them into sugar. We'll explore how Australian farmers use a special method to burn the sugarcane before picking it. Something unique to their farming style. Plus, we'll see how modern technology helps process huge amounts of sugarcane. Preparing sugarcane seedlings is crucial to ensure a successful harvest. Young sugarcane plants around six months old are carefully selected. Each seedling needs to be 60-80 cm tall with at least 5-6 mature leaves to ensure it has the vitality and growth potential after planting. Before planting, the soil is thoroughly prepared, loosened and enriched with nutrients to create the best conditions for the sugarcane to grow. Organic fertilizer is applied at a rate of around 20-30 tons per hectare. Proper spacing between the sugarcane rows is also important, with an optimal distance of 1.5 meters between rows and about 0.3-0.4 meters between plants in a row. This allows the sugarcane to get enough sunlight, water and nutrients, ensuring strong and even growth across the field. Australia has coastal regions with abundant rainfall and advanced irrigation systems, making them ideal for growing sugarcane. Areas like New South Wales and Queensland have the most sugarcane fields. The sugarcane planting season usually begins in June and lasts until December. The process includes land preparation, plowing, and regular irrigation to ensure the sugarcane grows healthily. Make sure to watch the video to explore each step of the sugarcane planting process. Once the sugarcane is ripe, usually after 18-24 months, Australian farmers prepare for the harvest by burning the sugarcane. A method mainly carried out from June to December when most of the sugarcane is mature and ready for harvest. Before harvesting, farmers burn the sugarcane to remove excess leaves and other impurities from the plant. This is done in the early morning or late afternoon to control the fire and minimize risks. The fire is carefully controlled to concentrate the sugar in the cane and dry it out. Burning the sugar cane not only enhances its sweetness, but also makes harvesting easier since the unnecessary leaves and parts have been removed. However, this requires special attention to ensure safety and effectiveness. The sight of sugarcane fields ablaze with red flames not only improves the quality of the sugarcane, 
but also leaves a striking impression in the Australian agricultural landscape. But remember, burning sugarcane should be done with extreme caution, so don't try this at home. Next comes the sugarcane harvest. With the advancement of technology, manual harvesting has gradually been replaced by modern machinery. This marks a significant step forward in Australia's sugarcane industry. Advanced harvesters speed up the harvesting process, reduce labor costs, and increase precision. These automated systems not only optimize the cutting and collection of sugarcane, but also help minimize damage to the crops. It's incredible to witness the speed and efficiency of these massive machines. Australia truly is a leading nation with a modern and thriving agricultural sector. After the harvest, the sugarcane is collected and transported to processing factories. To ensure quick transport and maintain quality, specialized vehicles like trucks and large trailers are used. Every step of this process involves massive machinery, keeping up the speed and efficiency. Australia is the third largest exporter of raw sugar in the world, with around 80% of its sugar production exported internationally. This is a remarkable achievement for the Australian sugarcane industry. When the sugarcane arrives at the factory, it undergoes a detailed processing routine, including crushing, grinding, and extraction. First, the sugarcane is crushed to extract the juice from the stalks. The juice is then ground and treated to remove large impurities. The juice continues to undergo extraction and purification steps, including adding substances to clean and remove any remaining impurities. After purification, the juice is concentrated to produce raw sugar. This raw sugar is a valuable resource, serving not only domestic needs, but also holding high value in international exports. We'll continue with the sugar processing steps at the factory. Raw sugar is transported by trucks and fed into an automatic hopper. From there, it is moved to the factory's 1,000-ton storage bin, where the refining process begins at a rate of 55-60 tons per hour. The raw sugar is mixed with hot concentrated syrup, raw wash, to form magma, which is then centrifuged at over 1,000 revolutions per minute to separate the sugar from the syrup. The raw sugar is then washed with hot water and filtered to remove impurities, reducing its color by about 30%. Next, it's treated through a process called phosphatation, using lime and phosphoric acid to create pure sugar syrup. The purified sugar syrup is passed through activated carbon columns to remove an additional 85% of the remaining color, with its quality checked by lab technicians to ensure it meets the highest standards. The syrup is further concentrated in triple-effect evaporators, increasing the sugar concentration from 65% to 78%, before being seeded with castor CSR sugar in vacuum pans to develop evenly sized sugar crystals. 
The sugar and syrup mixture is then centrifuged one final time to remove the syrup. With the amount of wash water used in this process, determining the final color of the sugar crystals. Finally, the sugar crystals are dried in a large rotary dryer using warm air to remove excess moisture. The sugar is then conditioned and dehumidified in a 3,000-ton conditioning silo where it rests for 24 to 36 hours before packaging and distribution. The factory's high-tech sugar-making magic is mind-blowing. What part of this sweet process amazes you the most? Let us know in the comments. Australia's massive sugarcane production is a clear testament to the strength of its agriculture. From the vast sugarcane fields to the modern processing factories, every aspect showcases the remarkable progress of the Australian sugar industry. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on more exciting videos. See you in the next one.